Hello everyone and welcome back to Super Amazing Wagon Adventure Turbo! It's time to start the adventure! Between 1830 and 1870, nearly half a million Americans travelled west! This is the story of this party. This party! Okay. And you know what, last time we unlocked a new wagon! Oh, uh, we got the fancy, which is western style. And the air modern, which is air conditioned. Let's try the modern, shall we? It's been a little while, so I thought let's upload a video. Oh, even easy and no health. Seeing some animals in an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. Then needed to stock up on food for the long journey. On day five. All right, here we go. Let's easy down. Oh, there's a flamethrower. I'll, I'll take the flamethrower. Oh, flamethrower does render skunks safe for human consumption. And now we're back down to Uzi. A posse of bandits interrupted the hunt. Gotta watch them bandits. Fortunately, we have Sniper Rifle. Oh! Cooksilly watched as her brains fell out of her teeth. That is the problem with having no health. Looks like Cooksilly's not going to be taken away today. Whoop! Oh, a bullet killed Wogan and it struck the back of his head. So it looks like the, um... The air-conditioned wagon. It's got a few problems. Oh, that or it's I'm just a bit rusty. Possibly both. Not not gonna whoop. Kilka got watches his brains fell out for his teeth as well. As far as starts of a video go, um not great. Just saying that was embarrassing. Well, let's start a new adventure, shall we? Between 1830 and 1870. Nearly half a million Americans travelled that way. Exactly that way. Okay, let's begin again. We're going to try going fancy this time. Because we haven't been fancy before. Western style. Oh! It's Western. We are travelling west. Oh, this is better. Oh, we get a re revolver. Logan instantly becomes ill whooping cough. Excellent. Seeing some animals at an upcoming clearing, they hurried ahead. They need to stock up on food for the long journey. As always, it's time to stock up on some food. Yeah, the reload isn't too bad on this. Ah, shotgun. That's always good, of course. Let's collect those furs. They saw a unicorn in the clearing. Hi, unicorn! The unicorns seem to be leading them somewhere. On the other hand, they needed all the meat they could get. It's absolutely true. You know what? Let's shoot it. They didn't have time for unicorns. Um. Thank you. A posse of bandits ambushed them. <laughs> Excellent. Whoop. Took some damage. Fortunately, not Wogan was inflicted with the damage. Still, the, the machine gun is nice. Ah, bit of help for the Wogan. The machine gun armed bandit arrived. Let's see how good this this revolver can be, shall we? Oop, we're taking a few hits. Ah, and a few heals. Gotta tank those heals, man. Wogan recovered from his whopping cough. Whoop how? Alright, let's keep going. Kukukon left the wagon to look for wild berries. Excellent. These berries are mine. On his way back, Kukukon noticed a cave entrance. He decided to investigate. I did. Look at this. It's a cave entrance, everyone. Oh, I entered through the back. It was very dark inside. Yes, it was. My nose is itchy. Upon the torch was filled with giant spiders. No, giant spiders, no! Okay, get out of here, Kilk. Up oh, a shotgun. Potentially handy, but turns out I didn't actually need it. They ate a giant, a great meal of mermot sliders. And I regained health as a result. Excellent. We reached a river crossing. You know what we have to do? We could try to jump over the river. Alternatively, we could ford it. We could ford it. You know what? Let's jump it. It's always more exciting to jump, you know. It's just my approach in life. We must jump. Look at those clouds, they're like smiley faces. Oop, a den of bears. Here we go, let's shoot the bears. Mm -hmm. 
what, what's with the revolver? Okay, please, shoot properly, revolver. There we go. Flamethrower works as well. I'll take the flamethrower. Let's torch the bears. Apparently there were only four bears in that den. We're entering into the Great Plains. Uh-oh, we came across a large herd of buffalo the size of an inch. Looks like it's glitching time. We can take the furs, though. Look, we're taking hits. The buffalo are a problem. Just noticed that the reload can be dangerous. Day, day number, scene description. Taking some hits from the glitch of the, the glitcher flow. Yes, the glitcher flow. Error unhandled exception, no reference exception, object not set to reference of an object. Problem. Blah, 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 blah. The glitch boss. Gotta watch out. It's a glitch. Program reset! Excellent, we survived, and we came across a fur trader. But only been out of a month. There you go, eh? Hi, fur trader. How you doing? The fur trader offered them supplies in exchange for animal hides. It's a reasonable thing I meant to do. Um, I think some magic mystic healing. What about you? All of the recreational buffalo shooting had started a prairie fire. It's misfortunate. Probably should watch the screen, shouldn't I? Playing of his phone again. Silly kilk. Not sure if I like the revolver. Some of the buffalo did catch on fire. Fortunately, we had a bazooka. We could shoot buffalo that are on fire, bazookas. It's, good. it's kind of them to pre-cook themselves, though. Nope, we did take a bit of a glancing wound, but fortunately, it'll take four glances to penetrate my hull. One night, Wogan decided to look for a flower for Quicksilly. He grew quite fond of Quicksilly during their travels. Oh, isn't that nice? Wogan brought the flower back to camp and gave it to Quicksilly. Oh, I love you too, Quicksilly replied. Then the two went into the wagon to relax. And the healing hugs ensued. There you go. Later, Wogan needed to relieve himself, so he left the camp again. Oh, uh -oh. it was a zombie. Fortunately, we've got a bazooka. Oh, now we have to revolve the zombies. Isn't that stylish? I mean, of all the things to use against zombies, I think revolver's got to be it. Sniper rifle's tempting. Uh oh, Wogan's taking some hits. Okay, got, got a sniper rifle now, it's okay. Some of the disease also had spread to the animals. That's right. Got to catch those buffalo, or oh, they'd take four hits of the sniper rifle. Okay, get out of there, Wogan, don't die. You're an important Charmander. Okay. Right, it's okay, we're circle strafing them, everyone. We're circle strafing. Don't panic. Logan couldn't believe what it had survived or that had happened. Um, yeah. Anyway, they had a tasty meal of buffalo chili. Zombified buffalo meal. And we're fully healed again. They reached another river. This one was too deep to ford. Believe it. Oh yeah. We're fully healed though. Wogan had the brilliant idea to swim underwater through the river. Alternatively, they could go round it through a desert path. You know what, let's go round it. I do like this music. It causes clicking sensations. It's my actual fingers being clicked there, it's not a sound effect. They came across a gambling cowboy. Oh yeah. The cowboy offered them all the- bet them all the animal heights they couldn't kill 25 quails in 20 seconds. Let's accept the bet. They accepted the bet and Wogan got ready. Let's do it. Gotta kill a lot of quails. Oh, we're getting them. Come on, go quails. Oh yes, we beat the bet! And we're getting furs as a result. We won the bet and got 54 animal hides. Oh yeah, 108 hides. They avoided venomous snakes. Oh, there goes my phone telling me it's time to go to bed. It's too late for that, we're playing Super Amazing Work and Adventure. Oh yes. Then I'll go to bed. Let's see how far this- I just want to see how far this one team can go. 
The man-eating giant scorpions were even more deadly. That's right, deadly. And it was a bad time to run out of clip. Oh, see, bad time to run out of clip. Probably shouldn't use the whole clip in one go. And just do it, keep, just keep using the whole clip in one go. It's inconsistent to not, to change strategy. Better to just spam the screen with revolver rounds. Then into some supplies on the sand on the side of the trail. Quixilla left the wagon to investigate. Ah, a bit of investigation, Quixilla. Have a flamethrower, have a hundred flamethrower rounds. Quixilla then realized why the supplies were left there. She was in quicksand. Oh, that's sluggish movement. The scorpions saw his weak prey. But she's got a flamethrower, scorpions. I think you've got another thing coming. She's a sniper with a flamethrower. She's completely unskilled to beat you, but she's still doing it. Somehow she pulled herself out of the quicksand and returned to the wagon. And to the mountain pass. That's right, we're in the snow. The food supplies were dwindling, so they hunted, and they hunted well. Bit of health for myself. Uh, bazooka we're actually going to skip. We have plenty of furs, though. An absolute wealth of the fur. A pack of wolves did smell the blood. They smelt it, and they smelt it well. Oh, that's not good. Can we double round this wolf? Nope, we're just going to take the wolf. Fortunately, the wolf is killed by touching the wagon. It just does damage as it does so. Oh, that rat wolf got in. Kill the wolves! I came across a fur trader. Hi, fur trader. How you doing? Got, got some health for us? Some tasty health? Offered to trade them a larger caliber revolver for a hundred animal hides. You know what? Let's do it. They traded for a larger caliber revolver. Oh my goodness, the bolt shovel bolts are huge! We're literally firing like 45 caliber bullets from this revolver. You know, it's... Oh, it's man cannon. It's satisfying. I feel manly just firing it. That's right, valid validated. The avalanche is getting worse though. And the large caliber revolver ineffective against snowballs. Oh, there's a machine gun, which we're going to take by accident, but hey. At least it's a high speed weapon, even if it's low caliber. And following the avalanche, they carefully navigated around the debris strewn about the narrow pass. Okay, here we go. We're navigating the debris. So strewn. And everyone's still alive at the moment, which is strange. Don't die, Wogan. Just saying. Would be nice. Afraid the wolves will return, they travelled faster. Bad move, everyone. Okay, Wogan's got some health. Don't panic, everyone. Don't panic, Grab, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Okay, it's okay, don't panic. They travelled so fast, they accidentally drove off the cliff. Oh, oops. A horde of buffalo fell off the cliff behind them. Uh-oh. What? The buffalo have followed us here! Stop! No buffalo! Bad! Bad buffalo. This is ridiculous. How many buffalo can you get in one game? Apparently not enough. The wagon fell straight into a spiral of light. Oh, so shiny. Beautiful. Majestic. When the lights faded, they landed on a strange trail made of rock. They continued forward. How fancy, eh? Ugh, oh, excellent. Strange horseless metal wagons came hurtling towards them. Oh, wow, that is fast. Oh, no, Wogan was killed. Alas, poor Wogan. It also means we don't get the survivalist bonus. There's a wagon for surviving this airstrike. Thank you. Kukukon was impressed by the metal wagon's shiny wheel covers. He got a close look when the horseless wagon ran over and killed it. Okay, airstrike, please help. Thank you. Airstrike, help. Nope, nope. Some men in black in a white metal wagon tried to pull, get Quixilly to pull over the side of the trail. Quixilly suspected the men were bandits, so she continued down the trail. Fortunately, the airstrike came in just in time. The men in wagon, uh, metal wagons opened fire. Fortunately, our large caliber pistol deals with large metal wagons. Quixilly the sniper, she knows how it's done. Oh, can you finish it, Quixilly? The large caliber pistol. Excellent work. Oops, the man had some kind of metal flying machine. Oh, health. Excellent. Oh, we immediately lost it. 
No! Quicksilly died a low, a slow, lingering death after a bullet punched her stomach. Oh, alas. The party's journey ended there. More men arrived and hauled the wreckage of their wagon off the trail. Oh, such a good run, though. When we come back, there'll be another super amazing wagon adventure. So awesome. So amazing. Oh, much joy.